Hey guys, welcome back to another heart breathings video. So this one is another one that's going to be inspired by my upcoming travels. And so I'm going to just put a link down below to all the news about why we're moving or why we're going to be on the road for a while if you're interested. Otherwise, I'm going to show you a sort of brand new redesigned version of my A5 binders. So I have been using A5 size binders, like ring binders, for gosh, two or three years now. I used them a long time ago when I first got into planners and then I took a break from them and came back to them two or three years ago now. And I have pretty religiously used this type of binder as my main planner for all those years. And I just typically switch out the binder itself every single month. And I like that because it gives me a chance to try different designs and to always feel like I have a new planner while not really changing the functionality of the planner. And I have really, really liked that and enjoyed that for the last couple of years. But I'm going to be on the road for the foreseeable future. <laughs> and it, I don't know if it'll be two months or if it'll be six months. I'm not sure. So I'm only going to be able to bring a couple of binders with me that I can kind of swap out. So I'll show you the ones I'm thinking about taking right now. And then also I am needing to pare down my number of planners that I've been actively using, which is a lot, more than 15 notebooks and planners that I use on a you know monthly basis. And I'm bringing them into just a handful of other smaller planners. So one of them is the A5. And because it's so customizable and I can open these rings up and I can divide things out, it really makes for a great planner for on the road because I can really customize it how I want it to be. So I'm going to show you what I've done and this will be a little bit of a different setup in terms of what's gone into this planner than what I've shown you in the past. So I'll kind of talk you through. Now the planner that I'm set up in for August is a dusty rose colored planner from Kiki K. I have used this a couple of times in the past and I really, really love this color. It's more of a fall type color and we're not quite into fall. It's actually like the hottest month of the year in the South, but I just was feeling the vibe. I also have a matching pin from Kiki K. And I also do happen to have a matching wallet as well. This this particular color went on sale at like New Year's or something like that a couple of years ago and so I was able to get these at a really deep discount like I think this leather wallet ended up being like maybe nine dollars or something so I have this that I'm gonna be taking with me I did was using a black one like this and now I'm using this dusty rose and it all matches but I don't think I'm gonna be taking this with me on the road because it's not my favorite if I can only take my favorite too but I did want to just mention too that this has the rose colored hardware, but I do have a baby bag. I know this won't show up super well in this camera here, but I have this baby bag from Fawn Design and this almost matches perfectly. Now this is not real leather, but, and it has gold hardware, but I'm going to be using this as my main purse on the road. Cause it's like a, it's a baby bag and it has a lot of compartments, but it's also a backpack. And I feel like that is going to be a lot better for carrying around EV stuff. So I thought it was cool that this matched it, but this won't go in the baby bag anyway. So it doesn't matter if it matches. You open this up. And what I love about this particular Kiki K design is it does have two of these little buttons so you can make it tighter. Or if you really want to stuff it, which I have this time, you've got a little bit more give and a little bit more room than you might have in a different planner and I do appreciate that. So opening it up this is probably going to be the most stuffed I've ever used <laughs> and there are some problems with it being this stuffed is really if you want to take anything out I can't open the rings here because all the stuff would just pop out so I have to kind of pull some pages apart and then I can open the rings and then I can kind of dig in for what I want to change but other than that it's not really a problem. So in this setup over here I have a lot of different things that kind of just match this color scheme. This little stuff here was in <laughs> these little die cuts were in the most recent of the Simply Gilded box like washi tape boxes and it just matched the vibe plus it's the little van and the camera and stuff which made me think about the travels so I had to stash that in there as well there's also a little guitar that came from that I have this little Chanel bow and I can't remember where I got this but I will find a link for it and get that for you and then I just have a few other little 
doodads stuck in here like this authenticity card from cloth and paper with a few other little quote cards from cloth and paper. I also have just some little washi tape things. I have this good vibes acrylic card from Villa Beautiful that was also in one of her subscription kits like I don't know months ago maybe a year ago and then I have this little card that has the monthly calendar on it from cloth and paper subscription box as well. Then of course I always try to have at least one emoji die cut from <laughs> um, Coffee Monsters Co. just because I love it so much. So I've got this little ice cream one. And then I also have, I don't know where I got these, probably Amazon, but they were pretty cheap, but they're just sort of neutral colored page flags that I plan to use in the planner. And then more little cloth and paper quote cards, all progress begins with a brave decision, which I felt like was appropriate for the time being. <laughs> and even though I can't really see what that quote card says when it's just sitting here, I do pull those out from time to time. Back here behind it, I feel like when I'm going on the road, this isn't my final setup, but this is kind of like a practice month, but I feel like I need to make these front pockets work for me as much as possible. And while it is nice to have some aesthetic things here, it's also going to be important to me to have some things that are actually functional. So things like these little to-do sticky notes from cloth and paper. I also have these pretty page flags. These are a circle page flag set and it's this mink mademoiselle and dirty chai colors. I think that came from a subscription box, but I might have just purchased it. Then I have these little oat milk uh, transparent dots, and then this bubble bath circle sticky notes. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I just bought these a la carte from her website. Then this I am a cactus made up of thorns, but still managing to grow flowers. That came from the Planner Press digital dash box, which you'll see a few times throughout this setup. There's a little quote card in the back from Simply Gilded as well that has the compass on it. <laughs> so. A lot of travel themed things came in the mail this month, which I felt like was really kind of interesting. These little drop stickers, I know you can't really see those like that, but when I put it behind the white, you can hopefully see it. These are also from cloth and paper and they're in different sizes. This was in her subscription box and I don't know how or if I'll use those, but for now they're just kind of tucked in right back here. Okay, so that's the basics here, but when I do my final setup for the actual trip, I might put more functional things over here on this side. So let's talk about the actual planner setup. So I talked about this a little bit before and on my Instagram, but the cloth and paper subscription box and the Simply Gilded subscription box for this month of August were both travel themed and I just thought it was so like perfect for my situation right now and I was super super grateful to both of them for such timely <laughs> topics but this Jack Kerouac quote I saw that my life was a vast glowing empty page and I could do anything I wanted is just perfect for where our family is right now because after losing the house that we thought we wanted and all of that, and now having this opportunity to move around and kind of try things out and have a little family adventure, I feel this way about it. It's like a choice that I can make. I can either decide to be really upset about how things have worked out, or I can just say, this is out of my control and I choose instead to see it as an adventure and see the blank empty page and just do what we want to do. And of course, we can't do everything we want to do. There are budget concerns and other things like that, but we can make the most of what we've been given. So that's what we've decided to do. I have these cool, you'll see them kind of throughout. I have these cool little circle paper clips from Kiki K. These are just their rose gold ones, but I have them in mint and black as well. And I've used them to kind of adhere some things throughout the way. So this is also from the cloth and paper subscription box and it's the August calendar. So I'll, I have the September calendar, but I'm not going to be able to receive subscription boxes on the road. So I won't obviously be necessarily using that the whole time. But I have this, which is just a very thick vellum page, covering up this really pretty dashboard from Planner Press Digital Dash Box, which is also kind of travel based as well. It's sort of like desert travel. And I did not this month like do anything to laminate these because I felt like my planner was already so stuffed that laminating all of these dashboards was just going to make it that much thicker and I'm only going to be using them for a short time so I decided to just leave them on paper and I think it looks fine and this you can't fully see it I think on camera so much but that's part of why I wanted that little 
bit of the desert and the girl's dress kind of showing through the vellum there. So I just put all these together and I think that looks cute. That's not how that goes. <laughs> so that's just like an entry page. And then we have succulents on the back. I bought these new tab dividers and I bought two sets also from cloth and paper. This is called her glass plastic collection. And there are six tabs on the side. That was one set I got. And then I also got a set that had four tabs on the top. And that is part of what's adding a lot of bulk to the planner. So I'm not sure I'm going to leave these top ones in. We're going to play around with it for the month and kind of see how it feels. But I, they come without any kind of labels. So I had some just clear sticker paper and created these labels myself with a free font and my Cricut. And so I have different ones here. And I feel like in the past, my A5 planner just really was my HB90 stuff with a few little extras like a vision board or a reading log. But it was, it was the main part of this planner was always my HB90 daily planning pages. But now I'm having to fit like so much more functionality into it. So I feel like having the tabs is extremely important for me. And I like the way these turned out. So this first one says HB90 method and inside HB90 method, I have all four of these other top tabs. So the four tabs I have says goals, year, month, and week. And the week also has the daily pages in it, but they're together if you're familiar with my planner. So for now, there's nothing in this goal section, which is why I'm probably going to have to pare this down a little bit from where it is right now, because I am not taking my giant happy planner for my goals section. And I want to print out my Q4 goals pages and have them with me so that when I'm planning for Q4, I can do that in this planner. So I'm going to need space for like 20 pages in this little section front and back. And so I'm going to need to clear some space, but that's what will go here. The yearly tab is this Erin Condren part that came out of the um, horizontal A5 colorful mid-century circle. And you've got this year at a glance. It's really a year and a half at a glance because you have the rest of 2021. And then you also have all of 2022 on here. And I love having this kind of glance page. Now, I also took in this little page here that has a section for your goals or you could write monthly things. There's lots of different ways people use this about dashboard and I don't know how I'm going to use it. So when I get to deciding what stays and what goes, these pages might go, but I just really wanted to incorporate some of the new Erin Condren stuff because it's so colorful and pretty and you can see it through the divider. So we'll see it. Like I said, it's kind of like a work in progress. The next section though is from my own HB90 planner and it's also just a year at a glance. So you've got the 2021 and the 2022 pages. So like I said, I don't really need two versions of that. So I might just end up taking one or the other out. For now, I'm kind of testing to see which if either I end up using. Another thing that's in here, and you can tell those pages don't move super great because there's already too much in here. This is something I recently purchased from Cloth and Paper because when I was getting these tabs, this was on super discount because obviously the year's more than halfway over. And it's a 2021 overview, which is very similar to the Future Ideas parking lot section of my HB90 planner. And it's arranged quarterly. So you have Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. And I was thinking, obviously this has the 2021 dates on it, but I was thinking I still have some of 2021 left between Q3 and all of Q4. And then I might go ahead and just repurpose these two pages in the front for Q1 and 2 for 2022, just kind of future planning when releases will come out, when courses are going to run, when's the double, um, wins double down day and the virtual writing retreats and things like that. So that's what I'm planning to put in this little section. Then I just have a notes page that came in the back of that. This is a pullout calendar that gives me a chance to see at a glance, like when things are happening on my schedule. I, again, don't think I need this and the yearly calendars because I think I could do everything I'm doing here just on here with little dot markers or dot stickers. So some of this section with the yearly stuff will probably be taken down to just a handful of pages. Then I have the monthly tab with another cloth and paper quote card. A fresh start is not a new place. It's a new mindset and another one of those little paper clips. 
Then I have my monthly calendars and I went ahead and took out all the ones that have already passed. So this is just August through December and this is from my HB90 planner as well. And you will see throughout the rest of this setup that I have several monthly calendars all together in this for different purposes. So again, all of this might possibly change. If you guys are interested in seeing a follow up to this of like, what did I actually put in my planner? How did I end up actually liking it set up? I can do something for you when we get on the road. But these pages, I tend to not even write in, they always stay in my planner. And I use them more for reference when I'm kind of brainstorming like, okay, that'll be week one, that'll be week three. But I need to make them if it's going to go in here, I need to start making them work for me. And I'm not sure that I need these because you'll see the other pages to come. So some of this might get rearranged. So after the months is this very thick, it's a like a plastic with, it almost feels like vellum, but it's thicker than vellum. And it's sort of frosted see-through and it's called the inbox. And I thought that this would be a good place to use some of these sticky notes that I have in the beginning of the planner so that I can put not necessarily a Kanban board because I have a different solution for that, but so I can put notes of tasks that are still not completely finished, like things that are in progress or emails I'm waiting on or orders I'm waiting on, you know, emails I need to respond to or little tasks so that they don't get lost in the chaos of the move. So this I think is going to be an important sheet which is why I put it right by this weekly tab so that I don't have to tab this something different. So I've got the weekly tab and you can see here I have this quote from my HB90 planner and then this is the bulk of what I normally put in my A5 rings planner which is my HB90 planning pages. If you like the layout of this, the look of it, you can get this as a printable download over on Etsy so those are linked down below as well. So it has a place to list my tasks per goal, any important notes for the week, what book I'm currently working on and what stage I'm in. Then I have my weekly like ideal spread. This is when I hope to get everything done. So basically I just take all of the tasks that I listed out here and I schedule them out along with all the other like to do's that have to get done for the week. And then I move on to the daily pages. Now how I'm going to be using my daily pages is going to shift a little bit too. And you can already see that I started kind of playing around with it, but I am going to have a video on my time tracking system and I'll show you my time tracking planner that I was using and how I'm going to be incorporating that into these pages. So don't worry about those for now, but these pages are going to start to become more functional and useful even than they were before. So I've got those pages and then at the end of every week there is a weekly review that I complete and then it's up to the next week which I haven't planned yet. But I have all of these pages done and this is just one month at a time but I will be taking a second binder where I'll have the extra months. So this is August and when I leave I'll have my September planner set up but I'm going to bring October, November, and December in a second binder so those are like the extras that I'll need and I'll just swap things out. This is my time tracking color code key with my stickers on the back and then and the next tab is called all the ideas and so this one right now is just note pages isn't this pretty with the little camel this right now is just note pages for things that I need to be getting done or um, things not to forget but also this is going to become sort of like a little notebook section for me to brainstorm ideas of oh yeah I really wanted to do this for the spooktacular or I really wanted to do a video on this so that will be where all these ideas are kind of held then I have an editorial calendar section and this is my editorial calendar for two different YouTube channels and two different kind of like um, blogs and social media and things like that. Now I do have a separate tag for social media so this tab is just specifically for YouTube and it has two different sections. One for Sarah Cannon which is my writing career and one for Heart Breathings which is my like obviously this channel stuff. So I've got this little digital dash box printout and like I said I won't necessarily be able to print and cut and laminate these on the road so they might just not be included in the final version of the planner. But I was lucky enough that when Erin Condren was coming out with their new A5 binders they sent me several options and versions of it. So I have both the Just My Type and the Mid-Century Circle so I get to use both of those pages and like I said when I leave the planner will be set up with September but I'm going to bring the last three months of the year. And if we move in 
into like, we're still not settled anywhere, still haven't found a house or anything by January, then I'm going to have to just buy some new stuff because everything else will be in storage. So this first one will become my Sarah Cannon section. So this will be, I'll be using two of these different <laughs> sets of stickers. These are just icon stickers that I bought off of Etsy years ago and I print and cut them with my Cricut and they will go just into the back of this planner. And this blue is for six months for life, which is a vlogging project that I still have not fully gotten off the ground because of the chaos. And then the purple is for my Sarah Cannon YouTube channel. So for example, we just started uh, just finished up my book Rival Demons. So that will just be a little indication that it's my YouTube editorial calendar. And this monthly will be an overview, but pretty much I go live over on that channel for an hour every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'm going to continue to do that even when we're on the road. And then these vlogs that I'm hoping to start getting up will hopefully be going up on Saturdays. So we're just going to kind of see, but this will be where I plan out what, what I'm going to do for the editorial calendar. Then I also have this dashboard page where I'm going to be writing um, like any kind of outline stuff or maybe just a list of the videos I plan to do or whatever. And then it has the horizontal spread. You can see because I just got this set up, I don't have, I haven't been using any of this even though we're about to be August 9th here. So I'm going to have a couple weeks so that I can just kind of pull out. But my intention with this is to go ahead and mark any ideas of, so sometimes, for example, like coffee chat on Fridays, I'll have a handful of questions or I'll have certain topics that I want to address. So on Monday, I would put here something like recap of Rival Demons, give away a copy of Demons Forever, and begin episode one of De Demons Forever. And so I will keep track of that here on these horizontal pages. Then in the next section, I just have one little vellum sheet separating these. And then this is the mid-century circles version of the Erin Condren horizontal. On this one, I'm going to use these pink stickers because that is kind of the color I tend to use with heart breathings. And on here, I will mark any time I have a new video planned out for heart breathing. So for now, I had a video out on Thursday, I believe. Maybe it didn't come out till Friday. I'll have to go look. And then this video is coming out hopefully on the 8th. So I'll have a sticker there, but I'm going to pre-plan and I love to be able to look ahead to the month to see what it is I'm planning to do so that I have an editorial calendar scheduled out and planned out. Now, obviously I can only fit one month at a time in here. I can't fit all the other additional months. So again, I will have a second planner that will just have the storage of the following months. And so sometimes I might pull those extra months out so that I can plan the months ahead of time and then I'll put them back in there. The other alternate thing that I might do is use that yearly calendar up here that I was talking about. I could use this 2021 overview to list out the videos that I plan to do this month. Like I could put the little pink flag here and then list out the four or five videos that I want to come out this month and I can use this as an overview like for future planning or I could use the actual yearly plan like this something like this where I could use a pink dot to at least indicate when new videos are coming so again still a work in progress but we're getting there so then there's the dashboard page again that I can list out the videos or do any kind of outlining and then I have these horizontal pages it also might serve me better to not use the horizontal pages, but I tend to need, especially for the heart breathings videos that are like, for example, the video I just did about writing through chaos or in times of chaos, I need space to be able to write out the list of six tips or whatever the topic is going to be. And so I might end up just whiting out some of these dates and using these pages as my outline. Like this would be tip number one, tip number two, tip number three, and so on for the week. So I've got some ideas of how I want to use this, but it might be something that I try and then have to like alter and try again. So it's going to definitely be a work in progress. This also was the like opening page of the horizontal layout. And I just love this back backing page. So I kept this in here just for pretties. Then I have some more cloth and paper pages, two different kinds. This is her like perpetual calendar graph paper. And then this is like her task sheet. So again, these pages I will have extras of because this would also work really well for a video outline. So 
I don't need all of these pages in here, but I need this functionality. So I'm going to keep working on it. I have this planner press quote, unbothered in my lane, happy, focused, and flourishing that I wanted to keep there. And then I have my social media tab. So on the social media tab, I have cloth and paper inserts that are a little bit different weekly inserts from the ones you see from Erin Condren. So these have a little bit of a monthly, like a little daily box and then a daily grid. And so I was thinking for social media that I might put little habit trackers in here or I might put any type of special hashtags or um, conversations that need to go. This will become extremely important for me during the trip because otherwise I have a feeling that I might just completely disappear and forget to be posting on Instagram. It's already been happening. I think this past week I only posted on my Sarah Cannon Instagram like one time in the past two weeks. So this will kind of keep me up to date on the habit of posting there. And I think I'm going to use my Zig Clean Color Dot markers to keep track of of the posts that I do on these pages. And unfortunately, because of these come in the surprise box, I only have September and I don't have October. So I'm potentially just gonna have my, change my address for the surprise box and get it sent to my cousin because they do come early, like the October inserts will come in the September box and have her just send them to me because I, if I start using them, I wanna keep using them. So then I've got this cloth and paper quote, perseverance is not a long race. It is many short races, one after the other. This section is called adventure calls and this is from a past digital dash box. This is a little just card stock quote about traveling, which came in the subs subscription box for cloth and paper that I loved. And then this whole section of inserts came in this most recent travel version of the subscription box. And I'm so excited that it did because I'm about to use the mess out of this. So these first pages is like 10 pages of packing list. So I am going to create a packing list for each member of my family, as well as a packing list for my office, like I have certain things like certain lighting, camera equipment, uh, microphones, things that are packing list for my like YouTube channels, a packing list for baby supplies. So all of this is going to go in here and I'm about to start planning that. And it has a space for essentials, clothing, toiletries, technology, shoes. And then the back is just checklists that are blank. And I can always wipe these out and use them in different ways as well. Then she also included in the subscription box a daily itinerary that has the days with this little grid here. And you can mark off what the weather was like, things that you did, what meals you had, and notes. And I'm going to actually see if I can purchase more of these on her website, the daily itinerary ones, because I was thinking how cool would it be to basically have an entire trip's worth of these pages to remember what we did, where we were traveling, what museums we went to visit, and have it as a log inside this planner that I could maybe like bind together into a little travel memory keeping notebook later. So I'm gonna see if I can purchase more of those because I think that would be cool. If not, then I might keep, I might take these daily itinerary pages out and keep this information in my B6 Stalogy, which I'll talk about in a minute. The next section is my dream life. <laughs> and this is the shortest section, but it's just something that's really important to me. This section is always in my planner and it is basically my vision board or my goals that are like my bigger long-term goals. So I just have this from cloth and paper, do what you want to be known for. This little page, vellum page came from planner press. And then this succulent is from the digital dash box. This visionary quote page is also from cloth and paper and this is kind of a like matte plastic and then I have another one of those vellum sheets then I have a vision of myself I drew a couple of years ago many of which these little things like having a baby have come true so I'm holding on to that I have some more task pages from cloth and paper to write out any dreams or goals as they come up I also have my reading card in here. This will move to something, some other place in the planner because it's not really part of my vision. And I'm going to print out my vision board that I just finished doing because I just created a brand new one that doesn't have the house on it, like the old house on it. So that's gonna go in here. But like I said, this is pretty stuffed. So some of these pages, like all of these, I can actually take out because they're not being used currently. I don't really need this contact sheet from the Erin Condren thing either. So I might cover that up with the vision board. But this 
I have the future log for 2023 in here. I don't know if I need it or not, so it might come out as well, but we'll see. I have this also this beautiful dragonfly vellum that one of you um, fans sent me, which I love. And then this little planner press dashboard from a few months ago that has raining money. And it says little by little, day by day, what is meant for you will find a way. And then this is just a backing card with a notes page. So that is <laughs> a very detailed look and setup of my current A5 planner. And I am planning to take, not this one, like I said, but I'm planning to take my favorite A5 binder, which is this one. The ones I'm going to take, I'm going to take two, and they're both going to be Kiki K. So this Life is Wonderful one, which is my all-time favorite, is coming with me because I love it and it brings me joy. So right now I have all of those extra pages I was talking about. I have September through December in here from both of the Erin Condren pages as well as some other like the September inserts from cloth and paper and so on. And I will set this front part up to be like, you know, the way that I want it to be for the months that I'm using it. So one of these binders will be the extra pages. Now, just briefly, I wanted to show you that for I knew that we were not going to be just moving from here into another house right away. Obviously, I wouldn't have ordered some of this stuff if I had known, but I had placed an order for Kiki K because I saw on Instagram they had this beautiful new box called Own Your Days, and it had this gorgeous new planner in it that is unlike anything they've ever done before, and I've wanted, gosh, I don't know if you can hear that thunder, I have wanted a new black planner for a while and uh, I have the beautiful cloth and paper black planner but that is a half letter and I've wanted an A5 version so I had to get this <laughs> and with Kiki K because it's coming from Australia uh, I always add a few extra things so I don't have to pay a gajillion dollars for shipping so I just got these in so I will show you real quick what I got one is this beautiful bluebell planner this is so so pretty and I haven't even opened it yet. So it's sort of quilted and it is, all of their planners these days have this gray lining in it. This is a very soft, it's not a glossy or like pebbled leather. It's almost like a suede and it's very, very pretty. And then it's got just, I never use the inserts that come with it. So <laughs> just gonna throw that out there. So all of this will mostly come out and be sold or just, all of this will just come out and go into a box, but this is the beauty, beauty of the planner. This one was on sale, so I grabbed it, and then I got the pin that matches it. These Kiki K pins I've talked about before, they come with a like a gel roller ball or something like that on the inside, but you can actually refill these pins, and you can use them over and over, and they fit the Pilot Precise V5 RT refills, which is my favorite pin of all time. So... Now I can combine a beautiful metal pen that matches my planners with my favorite insert. So I got both of those, but I'm not going to take this with me. So I'm probably going to put it back in that little plastic sleeve and it's going to stay here into storage. I also grabbed these little notes set. So this is a notepad like that goes in the back of the planner, that little back page that has the notepad. So this will probably go, um, in with me as an extra and then I also got these extra gratitude tracker pages and this might get incorporated now that it's here this might get incorporated into my a5 planner as well if I end up taking some of those like daily itinerary and those kind of things I might just replace it with a gratitude sheet for our trip of what I'm grateful for to kind of keep me grounded I also got this porcelain mug so for Mother's Day I got the sort of matching pink and gold B6 planner that matches this and so this little mug was on sale so I went ahead and grabbed it again this will not be going with me on the trip so I'm just going to keep it in storage and it'll just be like a little surprise for myself <laughs> whenever we do get settled somewhere that it'll be you know still just beautiful and hopefully we'll survive the the storage unit then 
I have the box, the Own Your Days box, and this is a beautiful packaging. I've never gotten a Kiki K planner that was in package packaging like this. So it's really pretty, like a nice storage box. So if I take this black planner, which I'm leaning toward taking it with me on the trip, I probably will store something like this one in the box so that it'll be nicely stored. But it has this nice bag. Kiki K planners do often come in a bag, although that blue one did not. But here are some extras. It has this little pen that has a heart on it. This also can be refilled, but it's just a gel pen or a, a ballpoint pen. So I don't know if I'll take that with me. Then there are some extra stickers, some shapes, stickers, and then this dashboard kit that can go into it. This stuff probably will not come with me because it's going to be a little too bulky to go in the planner. But look at how beautiful this is. I, the minute I saw it on Instagram, I was like, okay, I need it. <laughs> I have to have it. And the way Kiki K planners are is like the binders, you know, once they're sold out, you can never buy them again. For example, this one that I loved and really, really wanted, this was the planner that the binder that got me back into using A5 after years of not using it, but it sold out before I could buy it. So then I had to buy it for a very high price secondhand. Uh, luckily it was in very good shape, but once they're sold out, you can't get them anymore. So I went ahead and got it. <laughs> so this one has a different type of enclosure, but you can see it's got the quilted with the little gold beads on it. It also comes with a little charm that has both uh, like an enamel heart and a little leather heart. And it has this gold bar, but the planner has a little magnet here and you just pull this out so i think this is also going to help me kind of bulk things up a little bit if i want because it seems like the magnet will stick to anything right around here so i'm excited about that and then you've got the black interior with the gray cloth and this actually does come with pretty nice also like clear tabs if i had known this was coming with such pretty clear tabs and it comes with uh let's see four five six seven instead of six i might have tried to cover this up with the the tabs that i'm using but that's okay uh, i am not sure what all of these inserts are because i think they're different from their normal inserts they have it looks like a monthly they're like boxed weeklies and then in the achieve section, they have some goal setting pages like goal trackers. Let's see, take care is a self care thing. My main focus for the week, something nourishing. Oh, these have little quotes on them. Be grateful. There's always something to be thankful for. So this is probably going to be those gratitude pages that I got extras of. Write your own story. So this is just journaling pages. Connect is probably going to be contact pages or, yeah, like connection, emails, things like that. And then play. Always remember to have fun. So this would be kind of like a vision board section or a place to draw or it has dot grid and then just plain pages. So I might incorporate some of this into the new A5 setup as well, but I just think this is beautiful and I'm very excited about this pretty black planner and I think it'll be perfect for Halloween and I really want to get it set up with some cool kind of like witchy stuff. So I think these two are the two planners that I'm going to take on the road and they really couldn't be kind of farther from each other in style but I think that'll be fun because I can use this one for two months switch to this one or I can use this for September this for October November December and set this up for Christmassy this for Nano things like that so I think these are the two that I will take with me and one will always be the current setup and the other will be the extra pages that I wanted to bring. So those are my setups. I also have shown you guys on a couple other things like my Instagram stories that I got this beautiful Gilio Apunto, which is in a B6 size. So as I am trying to figure out how I'm going to pare down 17 planners and notebooks into just like three or four, obviously I fit my editorial calendars and all that stuff into there. I have fit my budgeting planner is now inside here in the Hobonichi. Um, I didn't really open this up for you guys. I'm just going to pull my credit cards out, but you can kind of see the setup here. I took my Hobonichi and I covered it up with a different color paper and this will become my budget planner and um, some of my other like notes so then my other 
main planner is going to be this one. And I am still kind of playing with the setup here, but I have not set up this actual B6 Stalogy. So I'm going to do that on camera and I will show you guys that hopefully on Thursday. So that's my A5 planner set up for the month of August and I will be practicing it, tweaking it, trying to figure out exactly what it is I want to take with me. And then for September, I will be setting it up for my actual time on the road. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you had any other ideas about something that I should take out or switch out or something that you've been using in your planner that's really working for you. I would love to hear any tips you have. All right, you guys, I also wanted to just mention very quickly that Publish and Thrive enrollment closes today. So if you've been interested in taking my self-publishing course, this is the last time I'm offering it in 2021. And it's likely the price will go up in 2022 because I'm planning to re-record the course and expand it to six weeks. So this is your chance to get in at the lower price and have lifetime access to all those updates when they come out in February as well. So come join us. This is going to be an amazing class. It's going to be a really fun adventure and everybody in the class will kind of get an inside look at the Airbnbs that we're staying in and things like that because I will be doing some of the live Q and A's on the road. But if you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email, Sarah at heartbreathings.com. You have until midnight tonight to sign up. So don't miss it. You guys come on, come sign up and I will see you on Thursday in my next video. Bye.